Good evening, everyone. Brad Stevens here. Uh, now, I listen, I don't claim to be no great guitar picker or nothing but no stretch of the imagination, but uh, I've happened up on something here in the last couple of days that has really got me excited, and I just wanted to share it with you guys. As you can see, I'm holding my bourgeois uh, vintage D guitar, Peruvian rosewood, back and sides at a Rondack top. Uh, got some Bob Colosi uh, dyed bone bridge pins in it. Uh, great guitar. And uh, I just wanted to do a comparison video. As you can see, I'm surrounded by guitars. I'm kind of in my element right here, I guess. Uh, wish I could play them a little better. But anyway, uh, on either side of me, I have Colwell guitars. Uh, Casey Colwell from down in Alabama. Uh, is building them these fine instruments and uh, I just wanted to get on here and do a little comparison video uh, I was able to get the last two uh, That's been finished. This one was finished on April the 29th just a couple days ago 2021. This is number 101 uh, It's a standard uh, sound hole and over here on my right side. I have a uh, One that was finished yesterday on April the 30th 2021 and uh, it's a large sound hole guitar. And I am just blown away by these guitars. They're great. And I, and I had this guitar already, and I just wanted to do a little comparison to show you just how good that these guitars hold up. And in ways are better than, in my opinion, even this Bourgeois, which is at a lot higher price point than, than the Colwell. So Casey Colwell's hitting a home run. But let me just run through a couple rhythm riffs and maybe show you something some capo stuff to show you what these guitars would do now here's the bourgeois i'm using the same pick a blue chip 48 that i'm going to use the same pick on every guitar and do my best to hit the strings you know with some consistency and try to do the same thing with all three guitars to show you uh what all of them's holding so here we go here's the bourgeois <laughs> sound, good note separation. Strong points in the bourgeois, but what I'm really doing the video about is Colwell guitars, and I just wanted to play a little bit of the bourgeois to show you. Now I'm going to take this one first, like I said, it's a standard sound hole. Uh, this is Carpathian spruce on the top, mahogany, this is a one piece uh, mahogany on the back of this one. Uh, just great guitars. That Carpathian uh, uh, spruce is, is awesome. Uh, neck profiles real similar to the Bourgeois, really. This is an inch and three quarter uh, nut on this thing. But uh, just listen to hear what some great, great sound coming out of this guitar. And the playability is just great. His workmanship, craftsmanship, whatever you want to call it, uh, is unbelievable. Really good. So here we go. I'm sure the sound is uh, showing itself. That Colwell guitar is not taking a back seat uh, to the bourgeois for sure. I also over here on the right side of me, I have this uh, large sound hole model. Uh, these guitars were built back to back. Like I said, that's number 101. This is number 102. Uh, Colwell, let me get that a little bit closer. You're going to be wanting to get up with him, Casey Colwell. You can find him on uh, Facebook, and he'll be glad to hear from you. He's got quite a wait list, and you can see why, but it'd be worth waiting for. But this is a large sound hole model, and to be honest with you, when I first saw them, I was, I was curious because the sound, they look, they're unique. Uh, but when I got this thing in my hands, I'm telling you, it's a great guitar. And I'm gonna I'm gonna play it for you here just a little bit. Do the same thing. Listen, listen to this thing. It's ringing right on out. I 
absolutely love the, the Colwell guitars. Uh, I can't say enough good about them, really. And they don't break the bank. And so if you're looking for a new guitar, uh, I really, really highly recommend these guitars. You don't have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars uh, uh, to come up with something that you are happy to get out of the case anywhere, anytime, and play. Uh, I've got this thing capo down on the fifth fret. Uh, we do a few songs down there, and I just want you to listen what some sound is still, how it's responded. It doesn't lose anything. Just listen to this. And also, even when you go back up, we do some what I might call bubbly stuff along. Uh, please excuse that, somebody. Uh, so let me let you hear this. good if you just want to pick some. So there they are, guys. That's just a quick rundown. I hope the video didn't run too long. But anyway, uh, I'm a believer in the Colwell guitars. The thing is, this guitar has been strung up just a little over 24 hours. I changed the strings on it uh, this morning to put my particular choice of strings on both of these Colwells. And they're already uh, in the same vein and same, uh, uh, I'll say, category, if you want to say it that way. They are every bit as good, in my opinion, as this bourgeois with the Adirondack top. And uh, they all got the same strings. These are phosphorus browns, and these are 8020s elixirs. Nevertheless, they're all elixirs and coated medium gauge. And these guitars are brand new, and they're already performing like this. And anybody that's played much a guitar, you realize that the more you play these things, the more they loosen up and come into their cells. And I just know I'll do a video uh, in a few weeks after I've played them a little while and uh, show you how they're coming along. But you ain't going to go wrong with a Colwell guitar. He and his family are great people. And uh, I've just, uh, I've went head over heels for the Colwell. So hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully uh, you enjoyed the guitars and, uh, and you'll get up with Casey and get you one of these things, get on the list and, uh, You'll be glad you did. God bless you, everybody.